All right, just have to make a public apology and repentance video. Uh, basically, what happened was is that about I think about two days ago, a day ago, I made two videos uh, out of haste, and that was my fault. And basically, I made two videos out of haste, responding to two of Denlinger's followers, who were actually lying about me and slandering me. However, the way I responded was not uh, scriptural, and it was immature. And I need to first say that. I will admit to something that I do have a mild form of, of autism called Asperger's Syndrome and I do believe it's the result of getting vaccines so I, that's why I am militantly against vaccines because I do believe that me having Asperger's because I do believe autism is caused by vaccines but whole other subject but basically uh, because of me having that, that because what autism is is basically a neurological uh, uh, brain condition it's a neurological disorder and part of that is for me personally is that I do have a weaker conscience. I do have, I don't have as strong of a conscience as some people have. So when uh, someone lies about me and slanders me, I do respond in ways, I do sometimes have a habit of responding in ways that I shouldn't, in ways that are basically, I would say, childish and immature and not always scriptural and, and very carnal and fleshly too. Because as a result of having my weak conscience because of autism, and I'm not trying to say that autism excuses what what I how I responded, but basically as a result of having autism, my weak conscience and then that those two factors together caused me to respond in ways that are not scriptural. And I'm gonna show the scriptures that I am not really following that well. So got some notes written down here. Basically what I did was I responded out of haste, okay? I wasn't patient, I should have uh, waited if I was even gonna respond at all, which you know, and again, the way I responded was very childish and carnal. And again, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to say that I was wrong to defend myself, okay? But the way I defended myself was not scriptural and was wrong, okay? Because they were still wrong for lying about me. They were still wrong to just falsely accuse me like that. And uh, if they want to keep calling me, see, keep saying things about me, lying about me behind my back, even though I apologize, well, to be honest, that's on them. Because quite frankly, I'm done worrying about Brian Dillinger. I'm done worrying about his little group. Um, to be honest, I want nothing to do with them, so uh, they want to keep saying things about me. Oh, that's their, that's their problem, not mine. They're, they'll find out someday. So, anyway, but basically the scriptures I was, uh, I was violating, basically, uh, was uh, basically the scriptures on haste. And there's a couple others, too, but uh, Proverbs 14 29. Turn there in your King James Bible. The King James Bible is God's word for the English-speaking person. Proverbs 14 29. Because again, part of me having a weak conscience is I will sometimes respond out of haste too, which is also, again, not trying to defend it, but I'll respond out of haste basically and I won't, you know, be very patient and that kind of stuff. Let's turn to the book of Proverbs. What was it? Chapter 14 and verse 29. Oops, went too far. Uh, Proverbs 14, 29, where is it? Here it is. He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding, but he that is hasty of spirit ex, uh, exalted folly. Okay, I was exalting folly because I was hasty in spirit. Okay, I was saying things in my responses that I shouldn't have been saying. I was, again, very, getting very carnal and fleshly in my responses. I wasn't being spiritual in my responses because that's the problem, and you know the whole hasty thing, the whole weak conscience is something I am trying to work into sin. I still, it's the sin I still struggle with, the thing of being hasty. Uh, it is a sin, and I am struggling with it, and I am trying to get over that, overcome it. So it's a struggle for me. Uh, Proverbs, where is it? Proverbs, nineteen or twenty nine, verse twenty. Because the thing is that Brian Dillinger is a saved man. Brian Dillinger is, uh, uh, he he has brought out a lot of good truth. He has brought out some sound biblical doctrine. Well, I'd say a lot of sound biblical doctrine, which obviously he taught from the Holy Scriptures, but he's brought out a lot of good truth from the King James Bible. And again, I, I don't want anything to do with his group anymore. I don't want anything to do with Brian Dillinger anymore. I've completely marked and avoided them. But that being said, the way I responded was not right. So... Uh, Proverbs 29, verse 20. Uh, Seest thou a man that is hasty in his words? There is, uh, there is more hope for a fool than of him. 
Exactly. So again, I was hasty in my words. Okay, I did not wait. I just simply took some screenshots and then pulled out my webcam and said, "There, you know." And I kind of just went off the rails. And then I, I used the guise of, "Oh, I'm just doing a public rebuke or something like that." No, it wasn't. It was just simply me being carnal and fleshly, which was wrong on my part. Uh, Proverbs, or sorry, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, chapter five and verse number two. Ecclesiastes, if went too far. Uh, chapter 5. And again, I do publicly repent and apologize of the way I responded. Again, not to excuse what they did because they were lying about me, but the way I responded was not scriptural, like I said before. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse number 2. Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God, for God in heaven and thou upon earth. Therefore, uh, let, sorry, therefore let, let, let thy words be few. Okay? I was a fool uttering all my mouth. That's that just let that just be blunt, blunt and brutal. I was a fool uttering all my mouth. You know, that was wrong with me. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter seven and verse number nine. Ecclesiastes seven and verse number nine. Uh, be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth and resteth in the bosom of fools. Okay. Part of my response, I responded, it wasn't, because when you rebuke somebody, okay, it should be spiritual, it should be out of bitterness or anger, and anger, and I'll admit that I rebuked them, or attempted to rebuke them, sorry, my, uh, my family living in my house, I rebuked one of them out of a spirit of bitterness and anger. It wasn't out of spiritual responses, it wasn't out of being spiritual, it was out of just being bitter and angry, and just wanting to just get back at them, which was, again, fault on my part, and I publicly repented that. Uh... Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse number 3. It is. It says, Be not hasty to go out of his sight, and stand not in an evil thing, for he doeth whatsoever pleaseth him. Okay? And that is another scripture I was violating. Because that public rebuke was mostly just trying to please me, trying to please my flesh. Because, again, I was doing it out of bitterness and anger and haste. I was not... Uh, praying about it, I was not asking God, like, God, do you want me to do this? You know, I was just doing it because I wanted to just sort of get back at them. And that was a fault, and I publicly repented that. So, this is my public apology video. I was being hasty, I was doing it out of bitterness and anger, and I was saying things that I shouldn't have been saying. You know, I was I was referring to them in, in names that, you know, really shouldn't have been said. Um, again, I, do not, I don't want anything to do with Brian Dillinger's group anymore. I don't fellowship with them anymore. I want nothing to do with them anymore. I've completely broken fell. I marked and avoided them. But at the same time, the way I responded was not right. And if they want to, again, if they want to keep lying about me and slandering me, that, you know what, at that point, that's just their problem, not mine anymore. Because, you know, I repented. I publicly repented what I did. I'm sorry for what I did. I shouldn't have done it. It was, it was just, it was folly on my part. It was foolishness on my part. And... It was wrong, and I shouldn't have done that. And in the future, because again, I do still struggle with a weak conscience. So, and, and plus two, I think the problem is too, is on YouTube. YouTube is just a very spiritually to toxic environment. Um, I've really been trying to get away from YouTube for a long time now. Uh, it, for a while now, I believe God's been just convicting me to just get away from YouTube. And I've, I've been recently trying to move over to Rumble more often, because Rumble is way more, it's way less toxic than YouTube. Uh, YouTube is just so much strife, contention, uh, so much vexation, so much sin. So YouTube, I mean, I, like at this point, I'm really just trying to just get away from YouTube. Again, the Holy Spirit's really just been convicting me. Just get away from YouTube. Um, and they're, and they, I think they've been putting ads on my videos too. They've been putting like ads. I'm not monetized, but yet they're still somehow putting ads on my videos. So it, it's it's just annoying uh, how YouTube does that. And with the Rumble, apparently some of my videos on, on Rumble are monetized. I don't know how to get them unmonetized. Um, so it's 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 a bummer, but because I don't want to monetize my Christian videos, the reason why is because I don't believe it's scriptural to uh, take money from the law, even from Rumble, a very socially conservative website, because conservatism is not salvation. Okay, you can be socially conservative. You can be the most socially conservative person on the planet. Oh, sorry, planet is technically Earth is not a planet, but um, on Earth, I'll put it that way. The most socially conservative person on Earth and still be lost and dead in your sins and on your way to hell, okay? Social conservatism is not salvation. Jesus Christ is salvation, John 14, 6, and Acts 4, verses 10 to 12. So yeah, Rumble, um, 
I, I don't want to. I, I, again, some of the videos are monetized. I don't know how to get them unmonetized, so it's a uh, it's a problem. But yeah, I'm moving over to Rumble. YouTube, which is very vexing. YouTube, which is very spiritually toxic, and. So again, to end off this video, I publicly repent and apologize for the way I responded. And again, not to excuse what they did because they were lying about me. But the way I responded was not, it was not mature, it was very childish, it was out of the, it was out of the flesh, it was out of uh, bitterness and anger, it was out of just wanting to get back at them and kind of like a carnal vengeance type thing. It was out of just a spirit of haste, a spirit of uh, anger, that simple. And I, it was again, falling in shame on my part. So anyway, and again, I'm not saying that I'm yoking up with Brian Dillinger group. I want nothing to do with them. I've broken fellowship with them. I have marked and avoided them. I just, I don't want anything to do with them anymore, okay? I believe they're saved, but the way they're behaving, you know, I, I just, I don't, I, you know, and, and, and for a while now too, I mean, to be honest, I think, you know, I, again, I don't want to just utter all my mouth because that's what fools do, but I'll just leave it off as, and I, don't, I, I just don't want anything to do with Brian Dillinger's group anymore, so. You know, it was wrong how I responded, but they were wrong to lie about me. But again, two wrongs don't make a right, obviously. That, it's an old saying, but I believe it is somewhat biblical to say that two wrongs don't make a right. So if I ever do respond to someone falsely accusing me, okay, first I would, I would have to pray about it, which, you know, I'll have to pray about it. I'll have to, you know, seek God's uh, counsel on it. I'll have to obviously search the scriptures to, re to see, okay, should I respond, should I just leave it? And to be honest, uh, when someone's lying about me and falsely accusing me, you know, it, it's really just not worth responding because all it does is just cause strife and contention. Um, because really, if they're just blatant lies, there's just no point. And the way I responded, I really just did it, you know, out of just a wanting to get back at them. And really, there really was no point in me even to respond. It was really just kind of childish of me to do it that way. So again, public repent to that. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. And again, I'm sorry for how I responded. It was wrong of me to do so. And, and again, in the future, I'll be trying to get away from YouTube because it's just very spiritually toxic on here. So anyway, uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.